Hey, welcome DBT users. If you want to understand how to get the benefits of SQL Mesh in your DBT projects, then you have come to the right place. Today, I will show you how to take a basic DBT project, the Jaffle Shop, and run that using SQL Mesh's DBT adapter. First thing we will do is clone a fork of the DBT Jaffle Shop project. If you're looking to follow along, the link to this repo is in the description. Once that's cloned, I will go into the directory and, as you can see, all the basic Jaffle Shop files are there. This fork is exactly the same as dbt's Jaffle Shop, except we have pinned the DuckDB version in the requirements.txt file to a newer version, 0.10.2. At this point, it's best practice to create a new virtual environment for your project. You can do that with your favorite package manager. I'm just going to use Python's built-in VNV creation. Okay, now that I'm in my fresh environment, I will pip install the requirements.txt file that comes in our repo. Our next step is to install SQL Mesh with its UI so that we can use that to run this project instead of dbt. With pip install and in quotes, SQL Mesh web. Using the UI is just one of the ways you can work with SQL Mesh. If you prefer, you can work directly from the CLI. I will clear the screen of all that output so it's easier to see the next steps. Next, we want to initialize our project using SQL Mesh. We do that with SQL Mesh init command with the additional flags of dash T dbt, which tells SQL Mesh that this is formatted as a dbt project and to use the dbt adapter. Next, we need to change one thing in our YAML file. Because SQL Mesh tracks the state of your project, it needs to know how far back the data goes. You can provide this information by configuring the start date field in the dbt underscore project YAML file. Under the models section, we can add our start date. The start date should match the earliest date from which your project has collected data. For the Jaffle Shop, it doesn't use any existing data, so we'll set the date to January 1st of 2020. Okay, we are now ready to open this project with the SQL Mesh UI. By starting the UI, we will get a local host to copy and paste it into our browser. And ta-da, we now have our dbt project running in SQL Mesh. This gets you out of the box, column level lineage, access to environment management through our virtual data environments, impact analysis that automatically detects breaking and non-breaking changes with automatic data contracts based on the SQL code itself, and many more great features. And that's it. In less than three minutes, you have successfully run your first DBT project in SQL Mesh. In future videos, we'll explore these features and the day-to-day -day workflow in SQL Mesh.